In this video, we're going to be walking through the basic setup with the A10 Mini Pro, including presentation software ranging from Worship Extreme, Pro Presenter, PowerPoint, and how to get live streaming and that whole basic setup for your church if you're new to this whole thing. So let's go. CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description. So I've had multiple people ask me about this. Um, and I understand this, this whole channel is meant to help train media ministries who might not necessarily, well, let's be honest. Most of our media ministries are consisting of volunteers. So that's what my channel is really about to try and help in that standpoint. So what I'm going to do is go back to basics and we're going to be setting up the A10 Mini Pro that I have with a full setup as if we had nothing. How to have... I have my presentation system here. Just pretend that's a brand new computer. And we're going to go into the whole setup, how to do whatever. Um, so I think, what? how many cameras can I get access to? One, two. Yeah, so we're going to do three cameras, one computer, the A10 Mini Pro, which will handle our live streaming. And I have a soundboard over here, so we're going to integrate sound in that as well, too. So let's go. All right, so the very first thing that you need, especially if you're going to integrate your computer, you need to make sure that you have some type of secondary display so that you can output that monitor. The, the line in for the A10 Mini is going to be considered like a second monitor. So right now I have a GTX 1050 on this system that actually has three display outputs. So let me show you real quick. All right, so here's the back of the computer. So here's display output number one, number two, and number three. So that's DVI, regular HDMI, and display port. So I'm using all of these right now, but that's not a big deal because we're just gonna unplug this one and we're gonna use the HDMI out to go into our A10. While I'm doing this, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone at the same time. Um, because some people wanted to know about the portable display that I have. They've had some issues with that. And I brought that with me just to show you how that will work with this whole setup as well, too. Now, with the A10 Mini Pro, we do not need a live streaming computer. We're just going to use it over Ethernet. So I have this extra Ethernet cable that was hooked up to this TV. So that's what I'm going to use right now. And let's get everything else prepped and set up. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get our network plugged in. If I can get these cables out of the way. All right. Now it really doesn't matter the order that you plug this stuff in, but ideally. You want input number one to be a camera just because natively how they have this configured. So this is number two, which is the computer that I have plugged in right now. All right. Got a whole bunch of extra slack here in the cables. All right. Now what I'm going to do is hook up my display now technically i could use this monitor but like i said people wanted to know about the portable monitor that i have so let's go ahead and set that up all righty that will go into our output right there now i'm going to hook up a usb c to this computer just so we can control it and put in the stream key and all this other fun stuff, as well as you need access to the software to do more advanced features with this. All right, so what I have is, number one is this main camera right here, the Canon G20, similar to the one that I have up there. 
that's plugged in and now I'm gonna connect this Panasonic HCV 770 over here that's what I'm gonna use this extension for alright so when it comes to audio there are multiple options this is what I'm using right now um, the Roland V mixer M 400 we don't have any direct outputs you could come out of the headphones and just convert it over but this is coming out digital and I'm gonna leverage what we already have right now let me turn this fan off I'm gonna leverage what we already have so this digital out comes out of here into this Behringer ultra match and then on the back of here see it converts and you can't see it here um, let me turn this around all right, so this ultra match, if I get the cables out the way, this white line right here is coming in digital. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to put an arrow there. But that will convert out, and then we have these analog outs. So I'm going to run that out from XLR, and I need two of them for left and right channel. And then I'm going to connect them to these which ends with a stereo connection that I'm gonna connect into the mic jack. Now I'm gonna have to come into the software and change this from a mic input to a line input because we don't need that to be too hot. So I got one XLR cable, let me get another one. All right, so we got sound connected to the ultra match studio or whatever type of sound that you would for the house now we always have this other connection so technically i could hook up my road wireless and say you have this on your pastor or whoever is preaching i can't do this with one hand so you could have this dedicated line mic just for them and you can turn them on and off whenever you need to um, but I think that's it. I didn't hook up three cameras. I only have two. That one and that one. We have sound and we have this computer hooked up. So we got monitor one, monitor number two, and then monitor number three is connected to the ATEM. So let's power this on. Oh, and I have the portable monitor hooked up. We've got power. And we're on multi view. And sometimes this monitor acts up. So let's just unplug the power, then plug it right back in. All right, now for some odd reason, this monitor is not picking up. Just picking up a crazy signal here. We have it on multi-view. So let's go ahead and go through the settings and let's see if that gets resolved. All right, so we're gonna go into our ATEM software. And defaultly, like I said, we have a television studio here already. But since we're connecting over USB, it connected that way. Now I could always connect over ethernet, but you know, whatever we're using the ethernet that can handle the control and everything like that as well too all right so let's check a few things first and let's make sure everything is working the way it should all right i was having a little issue so i disconnected the usb and i'm using my hard drive to record what i'm getting ready to do so i'm gonna connect over the network for right now so we're going to be transitioning to this and all of this recording what I'm doing. All right. So hopefully y'all can hear me right now. I'm going to cut over to our ATEM software. So you should be seeing this right now. So let's go to our connection. And here's our ATEM mini being detected over the network. Give it a second. Let's 
I'll try to set up and see what's going on. Detected. Maybe it's an IP address thing. Oh, there it goes. That took a while. Connection failed. Alright, so that might have something to do with our network. So, and I did not bring my hub with me to record. All right, I figured out what it was. It was actually not set to DHCP. It was set to a static IP address. I've since changed that. I had to disconnect it to do that. But as you can see, everything is there. So now, there we go. All right, so now this is all done. So now let's go back and see why we're having a problem with our monitor, which I was just using yesterday. So preferences, it's not that. Let's go to the gear here at the bottom. Oh, because it would be the output. Let's do auto mode. So the, the, the frame rate that I had here wasn't outputting properly to this. So now you can see we have camera number one. We have our computer that we've been recording as well as camera number four. And we still have input for one more that I don't have set up. All right, so now what we need to do is set our downstream keyer. Now, what is a downstream keyer? This is what you're, and I'm going to cover all of the acronyms and terminology and everything for the ATEM suite of switchers later. But pretty much the downstream keyer is the way that you're going to be able to embed graphics, scriptures, lyrics over top of other live video. So this doesn't matter what program that you use, whether you're using PowerPoint, Easy Worship, Worship Extreme, Media Show, Pro Presenter, um, PowerPoint, whatever it is, you're gonna be using a downstream keyer. So this is gonna be kind of like generic setup. You might need to dabble with this, but we'll go over this as best as possible. So you can find this by going to the palettes and then go to downstream key. Now under here, what we're going to do is we're going to change our source to be camera two, which is our system, um, our presentation system. And we want to change our key source to camera two as well. Now with the ATEM television studios, what they do is anytime if you're using a downstream keyer, it looks for the color black and it removes it. So if we're doing our lower third, that's why you see a lot of times when I've done this in previous videos that I have our lower thirds at the bottom of the screen, but I have no background. And in Pro Presenter, it doesn't send anything. Or in Worship Extreme, I have a black background. That is what this is gonna do. And it's gonna erase anything that's not that's black and everything else will just come through so it makes it transparent. Now these settings are not always going to be uniform across the board and that's why under here we have this pre-multiplied key that you can come in here and play with the numbers in here to get you the exact way that you want. And then I think the way I had mine it was at um, 10 and 74. So something like that and you just keep that and now anytime you engage the DSK here with auto which will fade it in or just on air it will be a, just a direct cut to that that is how this will work we're here in the software so what we're going to do now is we go to our palettes we're going to go to our downstream keyer and that's going to be camera two, which is what we have set as the monitor, the third monitor in our live streaming system or your laptop or whatever. I have three monitors. You only, I mean, technically you only just need a second one if you're using a laptop. All right, so if we come over here, we're gonna go through, let's do this in reverse order based off of what I previously did. We're gonna go into Proclaim right now and just show you how this works. All we're gonna do is because we have this set, we're just going to hit the 
to engage the DSK. Now, the way I use this with the ATEM, it immediately, it automatically erases black backgrounds and just brings in everything through that right now. That's how I'm gonna do all of these. Now, if the colors don't match the way you really need them, you can uncheck this pre-multiplied key and then change the settings, the clip and the gain, which is what I did originally that was not recorded. Um, so it, this has already been set for Pro Presenter, but we're gonna walk through everything. This is the only thing we did, point the fill and the key to the input that you're gonna be using, which is normally a presentation system, all right? So now let's move this over. I have Proclaim up right now. We're just gonna do on air. All right, so now this is full screen. So let's switch over to just me and we're going to engage the DSK. And actually I need to put this on something that has this background. All right, so I'm have, I have scripture on here right now and let's hit the DSK and boom, this is how you can see this here. Now, personally, I would put a bar and move this down. Having it in all white is fine too. I had to put a shadow on it because it was kind of difficult to read. So you might want to play around with that. Now, this is the extent of what I'm going to do with Proclaim because I really do not know this software. Um, but just realize, hopefully you can see this is meant to be a setup. Um, show you what can be done with the ATEM Mini Pro with your setup with camera, computer, and live streaming. All right, so now let's go ahead and close this. And I now wish I had saved <laughs> what I did in PowerPoint. Let's go to Worship Extreme and let's do the exact same thing. Oh, Y'all can't see this because of how this is what happens when you <laughs> DSK is still on and you have a black background. So let's turn that off because that's my wallpaper, as you can see. So now we're going to be in Worship Extreme and we're literally just going to do the exact same thing. Here's the cue list that I made to where right now this is full color, but this is kind of like this lower stuff here. So this is our scripture having the exact same way. And this is where we might want to play around with this. Let's go to our templates and let's put a background color on here. Let's put a shadow and I'm going to use this one, make it a little bit bigger. Let's blur it a little bit. All right, so there's our template. So now, if we bring up our scripture, let's move this over, make it active on the monitor. All right, so there's our scripture. Now let's cut back over to me. Now let's engage the DSK. And there you go. Now I can probably should have made that shadow color a little bit darker, but it helps stand out, especially doesn't help with this white wall that I have here behind me. All right. So again, this is where you might want to play around with the multipliers here and there if you want to, um, but that works fine. And I'll do Pro Presenter because that's what we use here. And let me turn off the DSK because I left on once again. All right, so I'm going to bring up Scripture here. And I'm actually going to change this scripture, or actually this is what it looks like right now, full screen, but I'm going to change this to a lower third scripture. All right, so we have our scripture now and a lower third configuration, and it's already up, so let's just switch back over to me, hit the DSK, and there you go. All right, now the last one, let's close this out. 
and let's open up PowerPoint. And I keep forgetting to turn this off. <laughs> All right, let's open up PowerPoint here. And let's just make a blank slide. We need to change that background color to black. And we'll just do our font to white. AJ, the CEO. All right, let's make that a little bit bigger. Let's do a drop shadow behind it. And then let's move this down. Something like that. All right, really simple. Let's present that. There you go. And let's switch back over to me. Engage the DSK, downstream here. Boop, boop, boop. That's me, yay. All right, so we got that straight. Now the last thing that we gotta do, let's close out this. Well, two other things, cause I think I left that part out. So we, we're gonna come over here to our settings of our audio and we're gonna go to general. So I've already switched the mic one, which is our sound system here is set to, I changed that to line and then number two is my Rode Wireless Go that I'm plugged into. So now with that done, let's turn on the audio for the system. And I'm gonna turn on this mic here just as a test and let me turn off my personal mic. This is a test, one, two, three. Now I might wanna crank the audio up in this. Test, test, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. So this is being recorded directly from the sound system. I can't jump down here and play the piano, but you know what? Maybe I should do that. <laughs> Let's switch over to another camera. I'm gonna have the audio on. The system should be active, so I should be able to, y'all should be able to hear me on here. So let me do that. I hope that picked me up. <laughs> I'll find that out in the recording. Um, now, the last thing we got is to set up our live stream. So if we come back over here to our system, I'll put, I added our Vimeo here in a video that I will tag. And now we're just gonna go on air And if I bring this over, there it is going on to infinity and beyond here in Vimeo. So really cool. Um, I think that's about it. I think I covered everything that people have asked about. And this is a complete setup with the Atom Mini Pro using the ATEM Mini Pro to live stream. I am not using this computer to live stream um, because again, I'm not connected in any way on this system. I have no capture card. I'm using this SD, which is hot, to record what I'm doing right now. But the only thing that's connected right now is an ethernet cable that's going out to the internet as well as the ethernet cable is how I'm actually um, connected to the controller software from the system. So that's all you need. I just have two cameras, a computer hooked up to this. 
and a hard drive. That's it. So um, hopefully that answered all of y'all's questions in relation to setting up the ATEM Mini Pro. We went through PowerPoint, Easy Worship, not Easy Worship, Worship Extreme, Pro Presenter, Proclaim, PowerPoint, as well as connecting everything, all this other fun stuff. So hopefully that helps you. I have timestamps, chapters put in here as well, so you can just jump to that stuff. And I think that's about it. And before I close out, I want to thank all of our patrons that help make this video possible. Thank you so much. Their names are on the screen right now. And you can become a patron as well for as little as $1 a month to help grow this channel and reach and help us train more media ministries all over the world. You can go to patreon.com slash AJ the CEO. And like I said, you can start as little as $1 a month all the way up to $30. And at $30 a month, you get a one month you get one consultation with me for an hour every month as long as you stay on that tier. And again, thank y'all for all this. If you like this type of content, I appreciate it. Like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video. Later.